Вітання з українською кризовою. Open dialogues in the framework of communication of reform, of uh, self-governance and territorial division, and this helps us to hear not only to hear each other but to elaborate joint uh, solutions. And Dobre program helps us in this UCMC decentralization platform helps us and uh, today we are going to speaking about secondary um, level of health care we have more than 300 participants these are uh, local government officials and health care workers thank you for registering uh, to UCMC platform decentralization or YouTube uh, channel of UCMC you may send uh, your questions uh, to us. Some questions were sent to us preliminary. I would like to introduce our friend, uh, colleagues, uh, Vyacheslav Nigoda, Deputy Minister of Development of uh, Territories, uh, um, uh, Irina Michak, um, Deputy Minister um, Dr. Lesak, uh, Healthcare um, Department Online, and uh, from Mariupol we have Stepan Maxma, Mariupol. Uh, regional Council, Pavlo uh, for Deputy Head of Snowska Community of Chernigiv Oblast. Last week uh, at the joint meeting of the Ministry of the Regions and Ministry of Health Care, we heard about the task to preserve the network of regional institutions of health care to provide the uninterrupted work because Ministry of the Regions is the main in the decentralization reform. And I will have the first question to the representatives of the ministry. Uh, Andronovich, the concept of the reform envisages that uh, ATCs deal with the first level of health care. And uh, in uh, September, Verkhovna Rada adopted draft law 3614, and uh, they distributed the uh, uh, budgets, and uh, the majority of resources went to uh, Gramadas. And the regions uh, do not have money for regional hospitals. Is this a problem? If so, how do you see the resolution of this problem? You are given the floor, please. Good afternoon, everyone. The topic of our discussion is really important. Not only for the system of health care, but for the whole process of reform on decentralization that envisages a number of uh, difficult decisions connected, first of all, for the responsibilities, resources that go to the level of communities. Our main task was throughout the years to form the system or network of territorial communities that would be capable to provide the main services that are closer to people and people do not need to address to the regional bodies or to go to the regional level. At the same time, as you've said, at the beginning of the development of the concept, it was envisaged that in the system of health here, we will have three level, three level formations and networks, three level levels of provision of uh, medical services. Primary level at the level of community, the second level, it was envisaged that these will be healthcare institutions at the regional level that will be under the bodies of power of the regional level, and then there will be the third level. Six or seven years passed. As of today, the situation changed. Several years ago, new policy was started. Uh, provided by the Ministry of Health Care. The reform went in a different way, and Irina from the Health Care Ministry will comment on this. 
and the representatives of the center also will contribute to this. This is their sphere of competence, their sphere of policy. We as the ministry, we are interested in, you've said that regional network should be preserved. I would formulate this differently. We should preserve the network of health care institutions, and it um, doesn't matter whether they are at the regional or oblast level or even state level. This is an issue of a different character. Also, we should take into account that a significant number of the regional level, all the resources, all the taxes, In September, the draft law was approved. Uh, this is draft law 3614, and all the resources done to the community level. Before, the healthcare institutions were uh, financed from the regional level, and they were managed by the regional councils and the regional state administrations. And this financing was connected with some taxes, then the taxes went to another level. And it is logical that these taxes should bring these objects with them. If we are speaking in a way of comparison, we are now working together with the Ministry of Healthcare and, of course, with the territorial communities, regional councils, and oblast administrations. We believe that they should coordinate this work to identify their policy in each sphere in the framework of hospital districts. And the, the districts also changed. They are not like in the first concepts. And uh, now this is the territory of Oblast. They should identify what objects from the regional level should go to communities and what should be uh, managed in a different way. And uh, today we should work on this, how to do this. I believe we will discuss this matter. This is a difficult question. If we compare it with the other spheres of management and uh, there is the resources in the budget for this, if we, we have the resources within the framework of all the regions, if we finance this from the regional budget and uh, these resources go to communities, and the state budget didn't take out a single copeck from this, so all the resources remain in the territory where they will go directly to these communities. These communities are um, they establish direct relations with the budget, and uh, we um, should find solutions there at the local level. We should go. Uh, we should transfer this to community, and they will deal with these issues by themselves or several communities residents of which are served by some institution, they should think um, in the framework of the law on uh, cooperation between the communities, and this should provide proper functioning of these institutions. Salaries of these institutions for provided services depending on the package of the institutions. And I believe the center will tell us about it. This is financed from the state budget. The task is practically uh, for local government is to provide uh, maintenance, communal services, and uh, current expenditures. And share from the state budget is much more several times more than it is envisaged by uh, financing uh, uh, from local budgets. Now, when the budgets are adopted for 2021, uh, everything should be calculated and uh, well-grounded. And by joint efforts, I believe we will be able to provide functioning of institutions of health care that are now um, managed by uh, regional councils and regional administrations. Thank you, Vyacheslav. Sorry, I forget to um, in, 
introduce Irina Denis, Director of Legal Department of National Service of Healthcare. Now I have a question to Ministry of Healthcare to Irina. We understand that secondary level of healthcare is um, a really big system and we should uh, take care of all the institutions and uh, the departments at a local level are involved and also uh, hospital councils also deal with these issues. Do you have a joint plan of actions in order to properly deal with this process? Please, Irina. Thank you for this invitation for this opportunity to speak at this really representative platform. I would like to go back. Uh, when we started the reform and the changes in financing happened, uh, this is not a full-fledged reform of the countries uh, in Europe and in other continents. They needed to a lot of time to do this. So this the reform at the primary level, the attrition's uh, uh, so the declarations were signed and our colleagues are financed by the national service and also um, local budgets also provide for this level. This is the responsibility of the community. The situation is much more difficult at, at the secondary level. And also, this is about hospitals uh, um, and provision of services and polyclinics. Uh, so those specialists who are not pediatricians or physicians and hospital help is a really big uh, network and uh, it needs a lot of finances. Uh, till first of... Uh, April 2020, uh, they had a subvance, and uh, we understood that uh, some some sum was envisaged for each person, and then at the level of local budgets, everything was distributed through the system. At, uh, starting April, we started to work with medical guarantees, and what is now important for understanding. Uh, for people and for officials that uh, no matter where the person lives, uh, everyone has the right to get proper medical help at any institution of health care where they address to. There are priority and non-priority packages. My colleagues will tell you more about this, but the situation looks like this, that in the process of decentralization, the newly created communities got big responsibilities and uh, sufficient resources. But we constantly feel problems with responsibility. They got uh, these obligations, but we do not see that they take responsibility for secondary level of the territories. There were regions. In each region, they had at least one regional hospital, but usually these were two or three hospitals. These hospitals were provided with a subsidy. Now they uh, deal with medical guarantee, and 70-80% uh, uh, of financing is uh, the money from the state budget. Con uh, compared with 2019, local bodies uh, of local governance, uh, they have target programs and they decreased financing after the program of medical guarantees was introduced. The local government bodies, they took decision that everything should be financed from the state budget. And now, in this very difficult time when we try to overcome COVID pandemic, we really see this problem because of those uh, constant signals that the state does not help, does not provide financing uh, for overcoming the pandemic. It uh, is not true because the packages that go to COVID cannot be compared with what is financed by local government. These are billions of grievances that go to help patients through tariffs, through packages. Um, and uh, today, for us, uh, we have a difficult task not only to preserve uh, secondary level of healthcare. We should develop 
this system to provide help to our citizens. Because those communities that are capable, they will be able to develop a powerful hospitals in some small territories. And those hospitals that until now were working efficiently and there were many people and resources, and I would like to state that the program uh, of medical guarantees, these are salaries, medicines, and local bodies provide communal services, uh, materials, uh, development of infrastructure for the hospitals. It happens so that now communities that do not have enough money or the region that doesn't have financing or the council, they uh, should support and maintain a hospital that was previously well supported and now they do not have opportunity to provide for their functioning. It is really important that the communities should find and establish a dialogue. We should communicate horizontally at the level of communities and the Ministry of Healthcare and all the bodies of central power that are involved in the process of decentralization. We should work with administrations, with the regional councils. There is one more difficult aspect that the department. Uh, the health care departments have no direct impact on the hospital's work because the manager of any hospital is has a contract with local authorities and uh, uh, con uh, is subordinated to the national health care um, agency. Uh, uh, so I emphasize once again that it is important to preserve the um, uh, services network which will be able to provide equal assistance to uh, those people who reside in big centers and uh, in capable communities and to those who live in uh, less rich communities. Uh, of course, the, uh, the quarantine had imposed its uh, difficulties, but nevertheless, the um, authorities should sit together with uh, um, the healthcare services leadership should uh, uh, develop a scheme which would allow to preserve good hospitals, good uh, staff, and uh, at the same time ensure delivery of quality services to Ukrainian citizens. Thank you, Irina. Recollecting your discussion with the Ministry of the Region, which is reflected in the press release, I understood that in the regions now, the transfer of uh, um, uh, the secondary uh, aid institutions from the uh, central uh, authorities uh, uh, to local authorities is going on. So my question to Andre is as follows. Uh, uh, what is uh, um, provided for this in your national plan? Thank you for invitation to this discussion. Uh, first of all, I would like to say, to say that funding of the health care reform, just as uh, the decentralization reform is aimed at uh, creating better conditions uh, for people's uh, lives uh, e everywhere around Ukraine. That is to improve the well-being of people and in particular delivery of the healthcare services. And uh, uh, all the active stakeholders have to contribute to this and uh, this will promote success of the reform. As for the healthcare institutions, uh, um, in the regions, uh, uh, and this was uh, partially mentioned by Irina, that from January 1st, they have been uh, getting in uh, funds uh, from the National Healthcare Agency. 
uh, for specific delivery of some specific services. Uh, this is a standardized service that is everywhere in Ukraine. Ukrainian citizens have the right to claim for equally uh, delivered serv medical services. That is, <coughs> that is all the um, services should be delivered at certain uh, level of quality if the institutions do not correspond to the requirements of quality, uh, something should be done. That is, if local community wants to have a, a healthcare institution on its territory capable to deliver a big amount of services, uh, then it is provided in the contract with this community. Then this community has to uh, uh, pay additionally for these services and take responsibility for the uh, quality level of the services. As for those aspects which are related to the administrative and territorial reform. So, as of today, uh, even the change of names of hospitals and clinics in line with the changed names of the local territories, uh, they nevertheless remain in force and remain operational. And uh, but these uh, hospitals and clinics have to be re-registered under new uh, names. They have to apply for such re-registration. They have to get certificates for the delivery of health care services. Although the contracts uh, with them remain in force, uh, but when it comes to the loops uh, and uh, uh, gaps in delivery of the medical services, uh, I would like to refer to the mini uh, healthcare ministry uh, about uh, suspension of the uh, um, contracts with the uh, general uh, physicians, uh, general practitioners, uh, and uh, when the territorial um, uh, 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 division is not the case. According to orders number uh, 503 from 2018, uh, the uh, contracts uh, with uh, general practitioners cannot be suspended. <clears throat> but in future, uh, I heard that in future all the um, previous contracts uh, 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 will be uh, suspended. Uh, by the way, the question to Rina, whether we have any cases that the uh, specialization or profile of the healthcare institutions in the regions is changed and uh, that uh, 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 doctors are fired. Yes, unfortunately, there are such cases. Uh, uh, Oh, yes, we have uh, cases when reorganization uh, of, of health care institutions into something else with the simultaneous firing of all the doctors. In uh, some cases, such decisions about reorganization were taken at 8 a.m. by extraordinary sessions of the local authorities. Unfortunately, Due to that, all the medical workers uh, are in a 
situation of depression and uh, uh, they are uh, extremely exhausted because of the um, pandemic uh, conditions and uh, uh, when the uh, local self-government uh, se uh, session and uh, the uh, when local authorities uh, uh, make such decisions this imposes additional stress on the medical staff um, moreover when the uh, implementation of the medical guarantees program was launched we have got the uh, big number of uh, 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 hospitals that uh, received much less funds than it was in the past and uh, between March and uh, October uh, uh, this half implemented and in fully implement, uh, non fully implemented reform um, resulted in a sort of uh, uh, disorder uh, in the hospitals, while those hospitals had to deliver quality uh, services. And of course, there is a problem uh, because we have extremely scarce resources for healthcare. We cannot compare this to Germany, uh, which uh, uh, has 13 percent of GDP allocated for healthcare services, while in Ukraine we may allocate only 5 percent of our GDP and even less. That is revival of uh, medical services and uh, uh, coordination of uh, this work of medical reform with the <coughs> decentralization and reform uh, uh, will take uh, a long time and uh, the local self-governments cannot resolve their problems on the account of local hospitals. Local governments have to think about provision of medicines, incentives for medical workers, and uh, today we observe competition between hospitals and that hospitals which will be able to provide better uh, quality services may uh, attract the better uh, doctors and uh, this may result in big, uh, bigger taxes, bigger income for the local authority. We have Stepan Marksman, uh, the head of uh, Mariupol uh, Municipal Council. I know th there are districts uh, where uh, the organizational stage after election still continues, uh, and uh, we would ask you to share your experience how you work with healthcare services. Uh, yes, I am very pleased to inform you that we have many novelties with the administrative reform, and uh, uh, I would describe what Mariupol, which has half a million of population as a new formation has managed to do. Actually, we have a union of five uh, uh, territorial communities. This is the entire south of the Donetsk region. As of today, we had uh, finalized our road map how we will move uh, forward as a newly created district uh, uh, council before taking the oath we 
allowed MPs of the liquidated uh, district councils to transfer uh, the health care institutions, cultural institutions, and social institutions um, to transfer them to the new amalgamated communities. This would allow us to finance uh, the healthcare institutions uh, in uh, amalgamated communities, newly uh, created uh, amalgamated communities. The primary um, uh, aid, the primary um, medical aid, should be uh, financed directly by the local authorities. Now, for the secondary aid, we have to finance partially. Uh, 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 we have to finance it, the, the amalgamated community. In our district, uh, those amalgamated communities who do not have uh, the secondary uh, aid institutions anymore have to conclude contracts either with uh, uh, Mariupol City or with the centers of bigger amalgamated communities neighboring to them. And uh, I believe that our decision is right. The authors of the law, 3651, uh, had uh, requested us to make a decision by July 1st. So we have made this decision, and uh, we uh, will move forward now more dynamically. If the secondary aid will be put on the sub-regional level, we uh, we may start thinking what to do with the secondary aid if the territorial communities will be unable to to do that. I am grateful to the Mariupol District Council. On the other hand, uh, on the other hand, I would like to um, uh, uh, focus on this date, the July, uh, the first of July. This is about all the communal properties which is under the district state administration. There might be not just hospitals, but other communal properties uh, like enterprises, uh, which has to be transferred uh, to uh, other levels in result of uh, uh, liquidation of either district administrations or district self-governments. But when we think about healthcare institutions or educational institutions, uh, so called budgetary organizations, uh, you cannot uh, um, take this. Uh, um, you can take this uh, um, easily. That is, if you uh, have, uh, if you had decided to uh, uh, re, uh, to maintain these uh, institutions by July first, uh, um, then lucky you are. But in general, as far as I know, you do not have enough resources to maintain this. Uh, uh, 
uh, institutions. So I would encourage you to look at this day, July 1st, uh, only uh, for the uh, uh, smaller properties, which is in your possession as a district. But uh, uh, if you wish that hospitals and uh, educational institutions continue to work after uh, January 1st, you have to request now that territorial communities include those institutions in their networks and uh, uh, submit them for proper funding. So you have to resolve this within this actually week. In our opinion, this, pro, uh, this transition process for the healthcare institutions uh, is not as dynamic as we would like to see it. And uh, we have big concerns uh, as to this uh, process and we understand that we understand that it will take time uh, newly elected uh, uh, members of local cell governments have to realize what they have to do with those uh, healthcare and educational institutions and have to make steps to do this and this of course will take time we have to raise awareness of newly elected self-governments what they have to do <clears throat> some 50 60 local communities uh, uh, require this uh, uh, awareness growth and uh, we have to invite those 50 60 uh, local communities to seven uh, to seven regions and uh, to inform them what they are expected to do uh, what the state budget provides for some subventions or subsidies for this purpose the budget was recently passed that's why i am asking you um, you see, we haven't seen the budget yet. The only hope we have that the budget was passed not at night and not on December 30th. So uh, we have uh, um, uh, hope that uh, th there, there are some state programs, subventions, some subsidies, uh, uh, but we do not know yet. Um, as soon as we know, we will organize discussion. Uh, there are some funds which could be used by local uh, uh, oblast state administrations in order to support the commun those communities who will take responsibility for management of some health care institutions. I would like to... Um, echo on what Irina mentioned. Of course, there are, there will be some expenses in those institutions, but if you are able to organize quality services and work in proper way with the uh, package of services uh, uh, paid from the National Health Care Agency and uh, to uh, streamline the a, uh, a personal uh, uh, income tax paid uh, by um, by local uh, uh, employees. Uh, uh, nevertheless, you will get enough uh, money. Uh, of course, this will stimulate co co competition and uh, allow to increase the quality of services. Of course, uh, uh, the, now the uh, salaries of medical staff uh, which works uh, in the local hospitals is paid uh, from the state budget and I, in my opinion local communities uh, 
had to uh, uh, had to be very willing to uh, have such hospitals in their territories. Uh, budgetary institutions are very stable source of uh, uh, budget uh, uh, subventions and uh, taxes. We have now Victor Lesak from the Poltava uh, uh, Oblast uh, Administration. Victor, I would like uh, to know uh, how the process uh, uh, is successful in your uh, region and whether local territorial communities are very eager to take uh, their uh, healthcare institutions on the balance sheets. Uh, um, yeah, the process had started and uh, uh, we observe it. Uh, uh, promote the process in the territorial communities, uh, and I believe that the process is positive. Uh, uh, what about risks? Uh, the risks uh, arise when in the territory of uh, former district uh, uh, territory, we have uh, three territorial communities, and uh, the uh, hospitals uh, uh, are, the hospital are in uh, one of them and uh, uh, neighboring communities disagree to co-fund it. For example, in Kriminchuk we have a good district hospital and uh, uh, now they have a debt uh, for energy payments. Uh, uh, because of insufficient financial contributions to this hospital from the neighboring uh, uh, villages uh, who use these services. Uh, in Kremenchuk, uh, amalgamated community wants to take sole responsibility over this hospital, and this may create uh, also risks uh, and entail some problems. <clears throat> Uh, also, I would like to raise that primary aid centers uh, um, when local authorities allocated some money for such primary aid institutions, um, and now they um, are not willing to allocate money. So we organize public awareness campaigns to explain uh, uh, um, that uh, those money which arrive from the National Health Care Agency, uh, uh, they will be reported in line with NCSO requirements, while the municipal uh, authorities have to create better conditions in their local health care properties. Mm, and uh, now we offer different uh, uh, ways how local authority may invest money into the uh, hospital property buildings, etc. We meet with the uh, uh, factions, newly elected factions, to explain how the budget is formed and uh, how we can create conditions and attract more resources, laying contracts with the National Health Care Agency. This is extremely important work for our uh, region, which is agrarian region. Uh, I 
I have newly elected uh, deputy council uh, members in Mirhorod who wants to take responsibility over big hospital in Mirhorod. So we have to explain to them how to act responsibly. Thank you. Thank you, Victor. Thank you. And now we go to Chernigiv, Shnasnovska community, first deputy head of Shnasnovska community. This community was created uh, earlier. At the start, it managed secondary level regional hospital. Pavlo Mirashnichenko, do you hear us? Good afternoon. Do you hear me? Well, yes, we hear you. Recently, we've read big material about your hospital, about your community, and the head said to the channels that the community uh, believes that it was great that they took this hospital. If now this issue would, would be raised, they uh, would never provide this hospital back. So many heads of local self-governance now listens to us. So we would like to ask you about the process and how did community win uh, uh, because they preserved this hospital. Our community was created four years ago. And we have a non-typical case for our state. Uh, for Masnovsky region, now it is reformed. The community was amalgamated in the framework of the whole Snovsky region. We had one central regional hospital, Snovsky region, and we've decided the deputies supported it four years ago. We took this uh, hospital and we work. We have been working for four these years. We have some problems with financing and with uh, there's problems with the staff, with the equipment, with his supply. But I believe that uh, in other communities, they also face such problems, and we resolve these problems, and we are getting, and we also adopt the budget, and uh, in some years it was easier, and in 2021 there will be more problems with the budget. That's why we believe that it was a good idea to get this hospital because this is our hospital. Um, our people work there, our people get treatment there. During these four years, we uh, had some maintenance work, so we replaced the window frames. Did you discharge someone from the hospital? There was one aspect. The department of uh, delivery department was liquidated because we do not have a lot of children and people go to the neighboring region, to Chernigov, um, to uh, um, have deliveries. And uh, now we need uh, more doctors. We need four more doctors. How do you search for them? Uh, we will have two programs next year. The first program, we will buy housing for young specialists, and also we will have a program to provide one-time monetary support, 100,000 grievances, in order that the doctor be able to buy a house. And we also file requests, advertisement. We ask doctors to come to us. Finally, a lot of doctors are listening to us. Maybe they will be interested in your proposals. Please come to us. We will be really glad if you come. Thank you very much, um, Pavlo. We have wonderful place, wonderful community. Thank you. So in Zoom, we have about 100 people. The rest uh, watch us uh, on Decentralization Dobra program website. 
I will voice those questions to our participants. And please write to us through Facebook. So I have first question from Hitrova Olena. Kharkiv, what the medical institution uh, may be provided to Hramada uh, uh, if this uh, institution is not in the territory of the community. Alena is the leading lawyer in the sphere of health care. We will give the floor to her, but first I would like to say that I am also a lawyer. And in the law 3651, uh, there is an answer to this question. Those objects, those facilities, uh, they are provided to the gramadas uh, uh, in uh, which territory they are located. So also there are some ways you may do it without breaking the law if there is an agreement between the communities. For example, uh, there is a regional hospital in accordance with the Constitution. This is uh, uh, in uh, co-ownership of the communities. If they decide together that it is better that it would be in the communal property of another community, and uh, this community will bear the main responsibility for support of this hospital, then we may search for such solution. But if there is such a problem, please address to us directly to the ministry, and we will work on this together with you, how to resolve this issue. And this is an interesting question, of course, but you uh, may ask this about this question directly. Um, and uh, from Sumshina, we will have also one question, a part of the question. From Vesichanska Irina, Kiravagrad Oblast, head of financial department, uh, about physical person's income tax, whether it, was, it will be um, in relation to the registration or the, um, or the actual uh, location of the hospital. Can you answer this question? Do, what do you mean by saying registration? So the hospital in the territorial community, people work uh, within the community, even if they come from other regions, they pay taxes to the community where they work. These discussions about changes to tax code and part of taxes be paid at the place of registration of the citizens. Uh, this issue is being discussed. Uh, this has been discussed for many years. This is a difficult issue. But as of today, all those who work in Kiev, they pay to the Kiev's budget. Those who work in other communities, they pay in community where they work. Kuzma, Natalia, Kamenska, uh, Village Council about conclusion of the agreement on cooperation with other community for provision of medical services. Maybe this is about intermunicipal communication in healthcare. Does the law permit this? Does the law permit? It permits a lot of things. Previously, we didn't have such a form. At the start, I've said that the matter is this transfer to property, this is one thing, this is a material part, and provision of services or provision of medical help, this is another matter. This is another part of expenses that is financed from the state budget. Here, such decisions may be taken. Uh, it depends on the number of people who live in the community. And uh, if we take uh, the summer expenditures for one or another hospital, if we take out those uh, 
incomes that go to the central community, then this uh, part may be shared between the communities in accordance with the agreement in order that their residents be able to get these services. But no one prohibits to get the services uh, in any way. But this will help us better develop hospitals by joint efforts, not only to pay for heating or for some other things, but first of all, this is for buying of medical equipment, because health care, first of all, this is about professionals and quality equipment that they use. I'm not speaking even about medicines. So for this, we may conclude these agreements. If uh, the communities understand that uh, a hospital is not only some object that is in the communal property, but this is the matter of their prestige, this is health of the residents of their communities, if uh, they will be guided by this, they will be able to find resources. They may save for several years in order to invest in health care of their residents. Because if you have primary and secondary level of health care, then the Ministry of Health Care be able to have 95% of resolution of all the problems that people address with. All of the problems that appear, for example, some comprehensive medical care or difficult operations, then you will be able to go to the upper level. And if we are speaking about, and Mr. Ilsak mentioned this, uh, we may agree with the factions. If all the factions of the deputies, when they go to elections, they say about health of their residents, quality services, they should understand that this is the way to provide these services. In the framework of the slow and cooperation between the territorial communities, plus there may be some horizontal transfers, this may be done. If there are problems because there is no experience, we will help to do this. We will provide lawyers and we will help to prepare such agreements. I would like to add one thing about participants and the newly elected heads of the communities. There is one more important segment of medical help that the state helps to provide and local government helps to provide. These are regional centers of emergency help about critical help patients may get, patients refer to these centers, and uh, medicines are also provided through the system. We should understand that the community also may simplify its work. And communities also may buy additional transport and uh, to provide for the first level of health care and to the emergency points. And this is a good service for their own residents. And also we have accessible medicines program for the state budget money. It is administered and the citizens are able to get medicines at affordable prices for free. And also, this is good for the regional budget and simplifies the matters for them. I would like to support Vyacheslav Androidnovich, as always. He focus proper attention on these matters, and there should be political will for all the decisions, and we support the direction that is the main in the decentralization reform, that communities should be capable, amalgamated communities should be capable, and we as sub-regional level should support the capabilities of the communities, and we should not prevent the development. We should be responsible. We should take responsibility for the communities and sub-regional level should be help us in all the directions. And we, as deputies of the regional councils, we focus our work on helping territorial communities in all areas, including health care. And we 
took these decisions uh, to help uh, to work with heads of the communities, uh, councils, and we provide opportunities for amalgamated communities to take responsibility for their residents and for all the infrastructure. Thank you. We thank you. Magirevska Territorial Community, Dipropetrovsk Oblast, she is deputy head uh, of the community about uh, creation of communal uh, institution if they have only 6,100 residents in their community, whether it's worth it. I would like to say one important thing, this agreement between the National Health Care Service and the health care institution, this is a powerful instrument for investment from the side of the state. If the community takes decision to develop one, to develop one on another service, they may attract more money to attract more doctors, as we have been shown by this example, and the community will be attractive for other residents, and they may increase the number of people in the territory of this community because health care service is one of the main services uh, that is needed by our citizens. And uh, NHS may help communities provide consultations for them, we have uh, the responsibility to carry out the analysis and to forecast the needs of uh, rural citizens, including concerning medical services in different territories. About the issue that was raised, we should understand we should go out this uh, framework of the number of uh, people. I would like to stress once again that the patients, they have the right to get medical services of primary and secondary levels and other types of medical assistance where they want to get it, not at the place of their residence and registration, not because they are living there, because they wish to get better services, they will be able to go where they find better help if the community is capable, if they see they have enough money to support this institution, and this institution will have a good contract with the uh, Ukrainian NHS for the packages of services, and they will be able to provide this number of services, then it will be worth uh, doing this. About first level of health care, this number of patients, uh, if they have the declarations, this will provide opportunity for the center to exist. Um, uh, the center of primary level, for example, to provide the services to this population and to bring these services closer to people, those people who live in this territory. Thank you. And there is, stay with the mic, and we have uh, journalists. Uh, among our audience, please introduce yourself. Lisa Galavata, fifth channel. Mr. Vilensky, please tell us 159 billion um, in that are envisaged by the budget. Is this enough to cover COVID packages, first of all? And also for 300 percent. Uh, um, to the salary of doctors. Yeah, thank you very much for your question. If we are speaking about 150 billion, um, uh, this is 150 billion for all healthcare, 123 for the uh, institutions uh, and COVID uh, payments to doctors. Uh, so, Money is not enough, but the state is capable to allocate this amount. We should understand how to distribute this money evenly and to implement those obligations that the state has before the doctors. And the, the more money we have, the more financing will be provided to the institutions, and our patients will feel changes then. And we repeatedly said about this. <laughs> of course, we want to have more. But with this money, the main functions concerning implementation of the program of healthcare guarantee, 
um, this program will be uh, implemented with this money. And the McLeod and Lviv Shina will be able to join us. Polanska uh, village council. If there is no money for um, for energy resources for hospital uh, from the local budget, can we use it from the NHS? If local budget is not capable to provide money for this. Thank you for this question. As of today, the budget code of Ukraine clearly envisages that the owners of communal institutions of health care are obliged to provide communal services and energy resources. This is not included in the program of uh, guarantees. From the other side, we understand that as of today of communal institutions of health care that has con have contract with the, um, the uh, NHS, they uh, use the money, including um, in accordance with agreement with the uh, service um, in connection with the plan adopted by their owner. In case this plan envisages this, communal institution may use this money, uh, including for this uh, needs and the legal advice before doing this. It is worth getting consultations and official explanations from those state bodies that carry out control over uh, target and efficient use of budget money. The state audit service, because the head of the institution that takes such a decision and the owner of this institution who spend this money, they will be responsible before the controlling bodies, and they should understand the response to this. Nikolaevska community now uh, jo is joining us. We have only sound, no video. We are ready. Please uh, introduce yourself first. Good afternoon, honorable community, Mikolaev Council newly create of the newly created community. The question. So the hospital served for the region, and half of the territory went to other communities. Respectively, the whole hospital is in our territory, and expenditures uh, we cover all of them. Who should start the procedure of reorganization of this institution? And next question that appear. What are the documents, normative documents, will be used when we speak about the transfer of people uh, from this institution to community level? Who is ready to comment on this? I believe that we won't go into detail right now. We won't consider such a thing in detail because we do not clearly understand what is going on there. This is a general question. Who should take decision about the transfer? And the law is clearly stated that the regional council provides this to you. But part uh, uh, went to other uh, regions. And uh, if the previous council uh, d uh, was not able it, uh, to do this, uh, then this council should do this. So you took this uh, object, this facility, and you have decision of the local council. If you do not have it, you should adopt it. And then if you have this object of communal property, all other actions connected with the reorganization of this facility or other facilities, other institutions. This is this is a decision taken by the owner. Maybe you have some co-owners about the staff. During transfer, all the contracts that uh, 
they have they remain it doesn't bring any changes in labor relations if we change this ownership about the packages of documents you may refer to decentralization site and uh, Nadia will tell you more about it where to find this information there are five blocks with explanations including about transfer of communal property. There are examples of decisions and also the issues connected with labor relations that should be in place. If you have some problems, please write in the chat, but please formulate the task correctly or formulate your question correctly, and then we will be able to answer. Uh, one uh, remark about uh, Mikolaev City Head. The ministry has good communication with the heads. We have online and personal meetings with them. And in Lviv Oblast, you took the decision to create the Center for Provision of Medical Help. You create a new institution. We do not see the logic in this. Why you do this? You should take Mikolaev Regional Hospital, and you have capable Central Hospital. Uh, you have wonderful um, uh, hospital, and uh, uh, you create a new structure with a new statute. You should warn your uh, staff about the discharge. So this is new contracts with the um, service, and uh, you create a new problem. There, there are enough problems uh, connected with this topic. So uh, you should have a careful attitude to do th towards this. Uh, so uh, you, we may provide you with this, uh, this assistance. Uh, um, so our colleagues from decentralization site, uh, um, we may find, provide references about the algorithms of what the regions um, uh, concerning the uh, change of territorial division and how uh, the representative of Kazakhstan's community. Do we have connection? Yes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Kalevchuk Alexander Nikolaevich, Chief Doctor of the Central Regional Hospital of Kazatin. I would like to specify the algorithm of uh, actions. And uh, we thank you all for your hard work. But we have the start of the new financial year, and the problem appears. In our region, four ATCs were created. We now go to the newly created uh, community. There is base hospital that is powerful concerning oral packages and COVID packages. And in Kazakhstan, in the, uh, we have two medical institutions. Uh, for ATC, this is a big load for ATC. I would like to ask, can we consider such an opportunity to go to the oblast budget, not to lose opportunities? Because if we go to ATC, there will be a reorganization of two medical institutions, and this will lead to the loss of cooperation that is active with the NHS and the impossibility to carry out all the um, calculations. This is not only about payments, but also there, are, uh, the, there is an issue about uh, pensions, benefits, uh, uh, military uh, registration offices, and uh, this transition period, it will uh, go for several months in order to resolve all the legal issues. The next question, we are participants of big construction. And all the changes, uh, not only uh, change of ownership, uh, different types of organization may lead to delays in implementation of tasks. And uh, lastly, I would like to ask, uh, when we have pre previous uh, video conference, uh, they spoke about control of uh, uh, hospitals because uh, they're important for the state. and. Uh, uh, also, that these hospitals should go to the oblast budget. May this issue be considered further. 
who is ready to answer perhaps the national uh, health care agency I will partially uh, answer to the uh, question about contracts uh, your algorithm to preserve uh, contracts and uh, funding for, from our agency should be as follows. You should introduce amendments in your um, association um, uh, papers, then submit it to our uh, agency and submit it to the licensing agency and then you make it uh, in the electronic system the contract that you have it remains in force uh, uh, now uh, uh, you might heard that our agency uh, in the parliament initiated did the extension of the contracts uh, which were concluded in 2020 by the end of uh, uh, to extend them by the end of 2021 there's uh, um, a decision has to be made eventually in the cabinet of ministers uh, soon and uh, as soon as it is uh, um, taken we will be able to provide uh, funding which we are due to provide to you as for the uh, budget uh, my personal managerial agreement uh, uh, my personal managerial experience suggests that the uh, management of uh, big uh, hospitals should be taken from the oblast level because at the oblast level you may look at the roots uh, he can make decisions uh, how uh, mm, the services should be re uh, distributed over the territory. Um, mm, uh, but nevertheless, we do have the law which uh, allows uh, uh, the local communities to manage the hospitals in their territories. Uh, here, much depends on the local uh, amalgamated community. If you are able and you wish to manage the central uh, hospital in your territory, big hospital, uh, mm, then you may take this responsibility and check whether this hospital works efficiently or not. Uh, and uh, nevertheless, we have uh, a, um, a big number, uh, quite a few of uh, uh, local communities uh, which have uh, big uh, uh, hospitals hospitals in the territory um, which are capable and good ho big hospitals while those territorial communities are unable uh, or insufficiently um, capable to um, manage these hospitals without the support without support from the regional level and here we advise you to um, involve the local uh, uh, region, regional administration. Uh, as Irina mentioned, I would advise you as a, um, a chief uh, doctor, as a leading doctor of that hospital, you cannot make decisions by yourselves, but what you can advise to your uh, local self-government members, uh, to your councillors, you may sit together, explain to them what you offer then they sh should look at the communities which comprised their previous um, district 
that uh, uh, they have to come to consensus and discuss all the legal uh, issues about uh, construction. Uh, irrespectively whether this is big or small construction, if this is to be funded from the national budget, from the Fund of Regional Development, the funding will come and end at the uh, by, by January 1st, uh, and uh, it uh, does not matter uh, 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 in which status uh, uh, you find yourselves uh, um, at that moment. But when the f property or ownership form will be changed, nevertheless, uh, the Ministry of the Regions or are the uh, mm, uh, uh, budget manager who funds uh, you um, will take uh, uh, responsibility for that construction. You have to resolve the first uh, question um, where you will be from January 1st. Uh, this is a big construction of the uh, entry uh, uh, entry departments. Uh, one more question from Ivana Frankivsk region where the Where the privileged, uh, with the payments of uh, privileged pensions in the healthcare area, uh, uh, could be funded from the national healthcare uh, service, national healthcare agency. As far as I understand. These are the pensions that have to be funded by the uh, National Social Insurance Fund. As far as I remember that our National Health Care Agency explained that um, you may uh, apply to us in writing, and we will provide you with written answer indicating uh, the uh, uh, direct uh, requisites of uh, provisions, uh, 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 direct numbers of articles and laws uh, um, answering your question uh, because the National uh, Health Care Agency pays exclusively for the health care services, not for special pensions. Uh, mm. So, uh, and the question whether you may post this on the website, we do this in individual uh, way as individual responses. I have a question. I've been following your discussion very attentively. Uh, and first of all, I would like to contribute uh, slightly to it. Of course, all the uh, primary aid centers should be created in all the territorial communities. Today, uh, creation of the secondary aid is aimed at providing necessary uh, services, highly required, uh, highly demanded ser medical services in the communities. We have uh, some uh, patients. Uh, um, it is not, not so easy to uh, uh, predict which services are required in uh, each community. You, do, we cannot hear you. Sorry, sorry, you disappear. Unfortunately, this sound is interrupted. The communication is very much interrupted. We can do nothing. We 
actually cannot hear now and cannot understand the question whether we have Zmerinka connected and with us. Because Marinka has been asking how to how to plan funding for 2021 when the healthcare institutions are not transferred yet officially uh, from the previous district to the new one. Uh, the the question uh, will be common uh, for Zmerenka and many, many other territorial communities. The process of uh, uh, transition, the process of transfer of, uh, um, uh, of um, uh, local uh, uh, communities, uh, 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 is going much slower than we expected. Not all MPs are as uh, um, clever as and wise as their Mariupol colleagues who decided not to make oaths unless the previous council uh, transfers all the healthcare institutions uh, properly to the new new territorial communities, and only after this they have uh, taken oath. Uh, as for the budget uh, allocations, you may approach to your local um, uh, how, uh, medical staff, uh, uh, the managers of that staff, and they uh, definitely have calculations. They will provide you with these calculations, and uh, you may seek advice uh, from the regional level. Um, and uh, they definitely might uh, provide you with good piece of advice how to allocate proper money for the functioning of healthcare institutions. The budget, uh, local budgets actually, could be changed uh, and amended um, during if, if during a uh, financial year it's not the verhovna rada level this is just the local level mm -mm. Uh, but you have to do the steps in order to prevent the absence of uh, funding Please, Yuri. Please, you may ask the question. The first question as of today. About transformation and organization of the first level of healthcare and when will it be? And uh, for this period of three months, maybe we should prolongate the agreements. And we have centers at the ADCs and doctors, they were served at different center. Then the doctors are discharged and we should take them on our balance. Should we envisage funds from the local budget and should we envisage and wait for some period of three months to have new subsidy. We would like to thank you for your question and uh, the agreement with the NHS of Ukraine is in place. It will remain for the next year. This agreement will be concluded started 1st April. Concerning the first quarter of 2021, there will be additional agreement. No other source of financing of healthcare institutions that work under these agreements and the framework of the medical guarantees. Uh, 
nothing else is envisaged by the program. If you have questions, we noted your question. We will speak with you later on, and we will tell you about these agreements with the NHS of Ukraine. And I would like to say to all the colleagues that we are open to communication. And if there are some difficult questions connected with the agreements with the NHS and finance, please address us to our regional departments, to central office. We are open, and we will be glad to help you. Thank you. The question that came from through social media. Elena Gnivan about the use of funds of NHS for energy supplies. Elena asks whether you can make get official explanations from NHS and fiscal bodies in order that every interested institution be able to get this information and not overburden these services. We will prepare an overall explanation. We will publish it on our site about the use of funds of NHS of Ukraine that uh, uh, it will be done this week. Thank you. Next question. Ala Onipka, Senevska Council, Spalstavshina, about the name of communal enterprise of the primary sanitary help if the founders are two different communities and whether it is of significance. Communal non commercial enterprise and the name, and if you have co owners, you will mention it in your statutory documents. You should not include it all in your name. You may write it in your statutory documents and name owners there. You should not, uh, you may not include it in the title. And if community rejects hospital, can you provide it to the regional level? Omenitska Council, no, Victoria Nosel asks such a question. Uh, I was asked about this repeatedly. This is about taxes. Uh, this is about taxes and responsibilities. Why did we create these communities? Then, if this community is not capable, it is not capable to this, they do not want this, then we will take other decisions together with the parliament. And uh, we have uh, these issues in our legislation. You should not joke about these issues. Local self-governance bodies, uh, they should work as state bodies. They have the same responsibility. You should implement those orders that are identified by law. And law is obligatory for implementation for everyone, for the ministers, uh, for the ministers and for local heads. So please do your work. A question from Rimnyinshina. I believe Andre started to speak about this at the beginning. Maybe we need to specify some things. This is a question from the head of NGO, Varantsova Tatiana. Maybe she is working with the medical sector. Uh, is there a way for doctors uh, not to conclude another uh, uh, conclude declarations that when when they are transferred? Do you have some some explanations for them. Change of ownership is not the basis for the stop of declaration. The only ground is the discharge of doctor. If the ownership is changed, the title of institution is changed, this is not a ground to discharge the doctors in the, the majority of cases. In such a way, there are no grounds for breaking uh, declarations between the patients and the doctors. If the doctor is discharged, then there is a ground to break the declaration. And we advise to avoid such cases, not to do this. And local self-governance bodies, they take decisions how to do things. Uh, thank you. We have a Pasnyansky community with us. Do you hear us? 
Papasnianskie community, do you hear us? Ah. We hear you, Papasnianskie community, do not quarrel. Please introduce yourself first and then ask your question. Dear colleagues, I'm a chief doctor in Papasniansky um, Center of Healthcare, and here we have a legal advisor. We will formulate the question. Sorry, we'll speak Russian. Uh, we have such a question. What should we do? We didn't have elections, and there is a civil military administration. What are our actions, step by step? What should we do in such a case? Thank you. Last week, the law was adopted about the changes to the law on civil and military operations. When it comes into effect, then the civil and military administrations will provide explanations to you. We cannot provide this information to you step by step because there is no no such law that is, comes into effect. That's why we cannot speak about this right now because we didn't see the final edition of this law. I believe that civil military administration will provide explanations to you. And this law was adopted urgently because it relates to territorial communities where there was no elections, local elections, including reorganization of property and financing and many other issues. Please wait. Maybe we will have a separate meeting with the Donetsk and Lugansk administrations. We will have separate consultations because uh, uh, this is a specific legal issue. It doesn't relate to others. So we wrap up. But first, I would like to say to all those who send their questions, many questions are similar. Uh, you may find our press conference at Dobre program site and the centralization portal, and uh, there will be a printed version of our communication and Dobre program specialists work on your questions. Please follow our sites. You may find information there, answers to your questions. We thank our participants. Thank you for finding time. Till the next time, please write to us, dear participants. We will be also um, establish some other dialogues. Thank you and goodbye.